Hello, welcome back to another cross stitching session on Old World Map 2, a massive lifetime project. I uh, hope you're doing well. I think I just sat down without getting any needles. That's okay, I've got one right over here I'm gonna grab. No, guys, no. I start talking and they think I'm talking to them. Never fails. They'll settle down after a little bit here. I'll get myself a little size 26. Don't know where the other one went to. It's probably someplace where my foot will step on it later. Ha. My husband is glad that I do that. Well, not glad that I do that. It sounds bad. Uh, rather me than him, in a sense. I, uh, I do drop them, but I always seem to find them with my feet. Um, all right, so we're going to just do... I think we're going to focus on just a couple colors today. And we might even... Because I got to do all this in uh, 3865, so the super white stuff. And then I need to stitch a lot more with that, so I may actually move this over and try out my new, well, maybe not that one. I don't want to try out my new new, but get the Dritz pin out and uh, get that working again on this project. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's a finer tip than it used to be. That's nice. It's a purpley tip. Air and water soluble ink. The blue is water soluble ink. So the, the purple will, will fade some just with time. Fade mostly with time probably and then just the wash will help. And we'll try both and we'll see. Um, but that's pretty cool. Those are really, I don't know if you could see that. Those are like really much finer tip than they used to be. That's very cool. All right, so. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to show you, where did I put it, where did I put it, where did I put it, where did I put it? Oh, here it is. Um, so I'm busting out these, I've had these boxes for years, many, many years. If you guys have been following me for years, you will remember these. Um, it takes, I want to say three of these boxes to um, accommodate all the colors for Old World Map 2. So um, I'm kind of going through and... and accumulating colors again. I've, I still have my wall upstairs that has the the um, the floss, the semi-floss organization system where it's, um, but I, it just doesn't fit a ton of colors. So um, I, I do need to get back to using project specific uh, bags and things like that. So, um, so anyway, but Old World Map 2 absolutely screams for it because it's um, totally necessary just due to the fact that it's got over 200 colors. Um, I'd be forever hunting for floss if I didn't have everything organized. So I have an empty one here that I'm uh, gonna grab and use and go through all my stash of floss and just see what I have and see what I don't. Cause there's a lot of the confetti stitches. So a lot of like, it's like a couple stitches here, a couple stitches there of like one color, then switch colors. And it's the same kind of thing. And I was working on this a little bit, I'd say it was yesterday. Um, and it was just, it took long because, it took a long time because I was just like, I do a stitch, put the floss aside, go grab something else, do two stitches. So it just, you know, it takes a while. And it's, you know, I've got to get more organized if I'm ever gonna finish this. But today, I'm gonna get a little bit more done. A wee tad more. So, and actually, uh, thankfully with, uh, well, I just didn't cut that, not, I didn't cut that nearly as long as I should have for what I'm thinking about doing. So, kind, kind person commented, that, why don't I try the loop stitch slash pin stitch or one of those variations uh, for this project. So I'm going to try that out now. I did not make this nearly as long as I should have to do this because I, I started cutting and then I remembered, oh, I was gonna do that. So we'll just, we'll start with this and just see. Let me zoom in on this. All right. Let's just figure out. Now, probably, probably already done a fair number of white. And you can see in here, this needs to be cleaned. It really does need to have a good uh, wash, wash, wash done. All right. Well, I can see that, and that, 
and that, and that. Okay, so there's pretty much this whole thing. So I'm gonna go down, come back up on, on the upper right. I can y'all do almost all this one-handed. Wah! ka -ching. Nice. Can you see that? Okay, there we go. I'm kind of blinding myself today with my light selection or my light placement, I should say. I did and I didn't do that right on that. Okay, that's good. Um, I have a table lamp, the floor lamp, I should say, that's just decimated. It's just totally broken down. It's got a great light. It's got a great LED, but the base is broken to the point where I can't get it. Like, I need to solder it, basically. And I'm not much of a solder, solderer. Solderer? Solderer. So, it's all good. It's all good. Awesome. Hey, thanks to the person who said, hey, do, do the, I like calling it whip stitch. I don't, I don't think that's what a whip stitch is, but loop stitch, pin stitch. And I may be getting all those terms wrong, but what I just did, what I just did, that will actually make. It saves on floss, saves on time, and also pre ah, prevents the back from getting all clunky. It's getting clunky. Oh gosh, and then here I go. My stitch with me on for Wednesday with Cowboy was just terrible with all the mistakes that I made. Um, I think honestly it was because I was doing it uh, with just a hoop and normally I use the stand uh, with it. And I think I just threw off my mojo. There's a lot of frogging in that one. Oh well. But um, I think next week's uh, Cowboy Stitch With Me is going to actually finish Cowboy up. And so, and then I get to start on another one. And I think that I've decided that I'm going to do the colorful sea turtle. Not the black and white sea turtle, but the colorful one. I need another colorful cross stitch. been a good week for you guys it's it's been a pretty decent week for me um, I had some folks uh, asking in the comments about uh, whether or not I'm still working um, I'm not at this time uh, I uh, I had to stop being a vet um, I just couldn't mentally physically emotionally kind of deal with it was just too much pressure for too long and so I, uh, I had to stop. And so honestly, like right now, I'm focused mostly on just my health and getting my health right. But while I've got this time, I'm also getting a lot of cross stitching done, of course. Might as well. Okay, now I don't always go back and finish the same way. I find that my, my loop ends are really messy so I don't mind flipping it over for just that. Um, I'll tell you what, let me, let me think here. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doo. Yeah, because I only got like eight stitches on that one. So let me just use this up, just go back and do this the normal way for now. Or the regular, the regular way, the normal way, the original way. Maybe the more difficult way when comparing the two. Let's we'll see. But uh, I got two weeks until, uh, as far as what I'm doing, I got two weeks until the Needlework Expo. And I'm trying, I'm working on, I'm still working on like cover design to get that honed in I don't have that quite where I want it yet 
And so today I'm hoping that I can really kind of crack down on that and get that done um, after the stitch with me. I was working on um, cowboy. I did about 700 stitches on cowboy this morning. So I'm pretty, pretty thrilled with that. And it's like 4,500-ish left maybe. Maybe a little less than that. Um, I might be able to finish it by the week end of the weekend, but that would be do pulling what I pulled last weekend, which was just nonstop stitching of one piece, and I don't want to necessarily do that. I am feeling more comfortable about Old World Map in once I get a little bit more um, synced up between my Pattern Keeper and what I've done so far. Once that's properly synced up, I don't mind if I jump ahead to do some stitching because I know exactly what I need to do, you know, going back. The problem lies in that you just, you might end up like doing so much confetti at the end that it just, it's just too tedious. It does get too tedious at times, but it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Here, let's just go down and do vertically. Don't even know what I'm singing. There we go. Got the weekend coming up. have anything planned I don't have anything planned um, usually if I try and plan something I'll wake up and have a different like motivation and usually what I do is I wake up and I'm like okay what do I feel like doing today because I got so many different things that I could do at any one time that I just let myself be guided by what I'm in the mood for like yesterday I, I cleaned for hours I just I stitched very early in the morning and then I was like I can't sit still anymore I gotta get up and do stuff so got a lot of a lot of stuff cleaned around the house and today I don't have to worry about that so much really going into the weekend I don't have to worry about that so much which is nice oh. so Get in there. Get in there. Is that even in there? It's not in the right spot. There we go. Alrighty. So yeah, so I'm gonna do sea turtle uh, Monday and then Go ahead and stitch. Monday will be Sir Sea Turtle, and then after I finish Cowboy, I have to come up with an idea for the next. It'll be another monochrome piece. And I've started Giraffe, I've started um, Library. Uh, I need to go back and look because uh, it's definitely. Um, I've got a lot of choices for sure. If you're wondering how uh, Ronnie Rose doing, Ronnie is doing just fine. 
It's doing quite good, actually. We, uh, we talked last night. We've actually talked a couple times this week. Um, just catching up. And he's going to be doing the expo as well. So we've been kind of throwing ideas back and forth and working on stuff. And it's always great to talk to him. We talked a lot about his uh, long ago days of the of cross stitching as far as what he did years ago, like the kind of projects he was doing and just, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool stuff. This was a better idea to just extend this or just to not work on doing the loop stitch. Ah, almost pulled that through, speaking of which. Check periodically and make sure that my hoop is still in the flame. Is the hoop in the flame? The hoop's in the flame. Cool, cool, cool. Come on. My left arm is tired today, so I'm having a hard time holding this hoop still at times. Oh, that was not good. That was a full two, a jump two that time. Oh, man. Between the cleaning and... I, oh, and then the taking a part of the appliance that I took apart not too long ago. I was working on this little thing, took something apart, was putting it back together, and uh, I guess the way that I was doing it made my, I was like really gripping things pretty hard, I think, and I ended up, my arms are really sore, kind of silly. I am ridiculously out of shape just from ne basic neglect. Uh, I've been trying to get myself back into some kind of shape, some kind of, you know, decent shape. I like to row, have a rower, and I do like to walk sometimes. My knees will swell like that, so I'm not always real thrilled about it. I was chirping for the, the bird. You probably can't hear him where he's at. That reminds me, what did I do with his radio? When I went in yesterday and I was clean like a maniac, I'm like, what did I do with this radio? Is it still even in there? Pretty sure, it oh yeah, it's gotta be up on the window. I just didn't turn it back on. I alternate music with him. Sometimes it's like light jazz, sometimes it's classical, sometimes it's pop or country. He really likes Christmas music. So he, uh, we'll see if we can't do, I think it's gonna end up being like our fourth Christmas together or something ridiculous, maybe fifth, probably fifth to be honest. He's just been kind of hanging out with us indefinitely, which is fine. I'm pulling a pattern keeper down here. So I got all this done right here. I'm just gonna hold that down. Select all the unfinished highlighted stitches. Boom. Do the same thing over here. Boom. Go up here and highlight those. There you go. There you go. Nice. All right. Since I got that done, I'm going to jump to do something with some color. Yes. Wait. I have five, nine, eight, nine, nine, seven. You silly. All right. We're going to do some stitching on this one. Put a little aqua, aqua, agua in there. Huh. Even though I'm home all the time now, I mean, I'm not, I'm 
not bored, I'm not anxious, I'm not, it's, you know, you think, well, you know, you're home all day, don't you get, go stir crazy? I'm like, not really. I like being home. Whoops. I like being home, but, I mean, when I need to get out, I will. I can do that at any point. Um, but I got stuff I can do. I got, like, a little routine. And my husband's home by 3.30, so it feels like after, like, 1 o'clock, it's like he's going to be here any second. It goes by so fast. Even though the last, like, I've been flirting with waking up at, like, 6 o'clock, 5.30, you know, just cuz. Just cuz. Alrighty. Watch, I'm gonna look at this and go, hmm, did I even look to see if I absolutely, absolutely needed to do that? Um, there, there. Ah, okay, well, let me just move this because I gotta move it over to, uh, to get to this point. So we're just gonna move it. Now, it may be very dirty. Dust may fly, but. Nope, dust did not fly. Whew. So I'm going to move this over here. Ah! Let me get out of there. Move this here. Because uh, I'm going to stitch right there. Do, 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 do. I'm like, do I have, I think I have a, I'm going to get this finger looked at right there. I showed you that last time, didn't I? It's got like a, it's got a bump right on my joint. And it's starting to bother me and hurt when I grab stuff. Sometimes it does it when I work on this too much. That's okay. I can't even imagine how heavy this thing's going to be when I get like a couple more rows, like rows across done. Whenever that may be, it'd be so hard to hold this up. I'm going to have to come up with a system, but thankfully that's not around the corner. That's going to take some time. <coughs> All right. Uh, All right. Get some of this bluish stuff done. Hooray. All right. Try this again one-handed. Yeah. The other thing is that when I was cleaning yesterday, I was cleaning up around where there was a lot of cross-stitch stuff. So I was able to consolidate a lot of my floss so I could go through it better. And I also found some fabric tensioners. Uh, I don't have it with, well, actually I do have it with me, hold on. Making a mess, making a mess. Um, this stinks. So this is Mother's Love Project, which I need to get back on. But um, because I'm using it on a frame, I can uh, grab these little tensioners and pull them tight. And that helps to kind of keep everything tight, makes it easier to kind of stitch. But you see how short this is. It's only about, I'm going to say it's like 14 to 16 inches or so. And um, I thought about trying to get something for Old World Map 2 back in the day. But it just is too, way too... Um, way, way bigger than anything that I could do. And I like working on a small little section at one, at one time. It keeps it manageable. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. So if you guys are wondering about the, uh, you know, I, again, I'm kind of talking to the folks that haven't been here in a while. So if you've been wondering about the dogs per se, um, those guys are still doing great. We've had some attrition. We've had um, some new additions um, over the last couple of years. Um, we've lost two in the last couple of years. Um, we lost Fargo, who died um, unexpectedly about a year and a half ago, I think. And then, uh, let's see what else. Oh, and then Jelly passed. 
And so Jelly, Jelly's death was expected. Um, I think she had a tumor. I didn't, I don't necessarily, with some of these dogs, with a few of these dogs that have like a multitude of issues, like once it worked up that they had a multitude of issues, just kind of let them be, um, you know, trying to uh, medicate and focus on so many different dogs. It gets, it has been difficult. And believe it or not, like not working now, well, that's not true. It's easier now that I'm not working than it was before when I was working. Um, just from a standpoint of being able to kind of watch their daily behaviors and make sure that they're acting okay and doing okay. Um, and so Jelly would have liked for me to have been home. She, uh, she was a, um, she was a mama's girl and she was a sweetheart. I'm so glad we had her. You know, it was fairly short, you know, four or five years maybe, but she was pretty great. And then we added Binky and little Binky is a little Yorkshire Terrier. She's elderly too. I mean, she's got to be 14, 13, 14 at least. Um, of course, she could live to be 20. And so, oh, I'm looking at this. Did I already fill in those stitches? Do, 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 do. Nope, I didn't. I got to do those two right there. So, um, I don't want to stretch my floss over that far. Nip it in the bud, so to speak. But anyway, Binky gets uh, every bit of spoiling that we try not to spoil the other dogs. Um, they're already spoiled, but um, and they already run the house to a certain extent. But Binky really runs the house. I mean, she's she's got my husband for sure tied around her little paw. Um, She's just, but she's so dang cute and she's worth it. I mean, she's just, Binky, you're the cutest little thing ever. She, uh, she's only about five pounds and she has this really, yeah, I don't even want to talk about it because I know I'm going to jinx it, but I'm still going to talk about it. She, uh, she has this propensity periodically for falling off tables. Now, she's five pounds, so she spends a lot of her time up on tables just to kind of get her up to our level and keep her away from, you know, the dogs being rambunctious at times. So she spends, at night, she spends almost all her time on my husband's um, computer desk or in, in his lap. I would say it's split even. He, uh, it's so adorable when they, when they kind of cuddle together. Um, She's the only one allowed to go upstairs and hang out with us in uh, our bedroom at night. She gets to, she sleeps in her little bed near the foot of our bed. So she's not totally like spoiled, but she, she's, she fell off the bed last night. She was uh, walking around trying to look for a spot to like, she likes to, she'll scratch a bunch and then she'll turn around and lay down in that spot. And for whatever reason, she went all the way down on the foot of the bed and the, the blankets were heaped up a little bit. I couldn't quite see what she was doing, but she started digging and I was like, you are down by my foot and my foot is right next to the edge of the bed. So I, I leaned up to look and sure enough, she's like, she's like, if, if, if like this is falling off the bed, she was like standing like this with her back feet, like right up here. And she was just doing that. And so I jumped out of it because I'm like, I'm just waiting because I'm like, she's going to fall. And so I got up to try to get her. And as soon as I got up, she like fell off. She probably got surprised by me and startled and fell off. So she's quite amazing, though. She has yet to knock on wood, knock on my head, uh, gotten hurt from any of those adventures, which is shocking she's got little pin pin legs and she's just a little she's a doll let's just say it she's a doll she's the best turned us into little dog people we're now little dog people all right i'm switching colors i'm going to ecru ecru 
I could stitch more on this one as well. Or can I? Let me see. Let me go back to where I am. Do, 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 do. It's nice that I have these letters up top because they help me organize like where I'm at in these different spots. I'm going to have to make sure when I get a little further down that I do a better job of knowing exactly where I'm at. But for now, we're just going to see. Just going to see. Mm. Yeah, it looks like I got it in there. And that's Binky too, the smoker. I'm just kidding, she doesn't smoke, of course. She, uh, like a many tiny little dog, she has a little problem with her throat. All right, so I'm gonna move this one back a little bit to get the accru, accru done. All right. So let's see. So what I plan on doing between uh, shots or between videos of this is I plan on um, working on these little confetti stitches and trying to get them caught up. Because like I talked about before, it's like I can't just try to do this and not stitch on it between, you know, every weekend. When I sit down to do this, I just, that will, that will never work. That will be very impossible. Alright, I'm going to try yet again a too short piece for the loop stitch. Doki, where am my smoky pokey? Aha. Right, correct. Yes. Print. Almost. Almost. I think of how many did we do like 80 stitches or did we do like a lot less last week I can't remember how many stitches we did well, that's unfortunate ah right here get in there there we go have a long way to go here from there to there so if I do that you no know, I'm just gonna break it off here it's just sometimes it's just the the nature of this project is that it breaks the standard rules for me in what I would be willing to do in many other pieces like, oh I can do it this way nope 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 Boo. That's not it. 
It's up here. Actually, it does come back. Doop, doop, doop. It feels nice and cool today inside the house. The last couple of days it's been hot, so hot outside that I couldn't keep it at the nice, normal temperature I like. Today the high is only like 90, 91. And so when it does that, it is very possible to keep it. I just had to switch my legs here. It's very possible to keep it uh, inside the house at a nice, comfortable temperature. Do not think I have that one ready. So I am going to just jump ahead. Ta da! Because this is, this is the next page. Now, the other thing one could point out is the fact that um, I've been marking my pages, page to page to page on this. And when I've said on other projects, ah, you don't need to even mark the page. You don't have to do that. Well, for whatever reason, I do it. Oh, sorry. Um, I think part of it is just to measure the progress because there's like, there's so many pages. Again, it's like, I think you want to say it's over 200 pages in total. And it's how I always measured progress with this. Um, but yeah, I don't know. But it's nice. Look at all the, look at all this uh, same color that I get to do coming up here. So I'm going to start with this bottom part. Oh, the exquisite fun of stitching white on white. Yeah, yes. Here we go. Okay. Let's make it a little longer here. Just trying to... I need to get a... A little skinny, not skinny, duh, thingy, I need to get thingy, you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, the thingy, that thingy, that's right, all right, hot diggity dunk, because we are going to try this one with the loop stitch, get a lot more stitched at once, oh man, sleepy, I'm yawning today, Yesterday I was like on a mission. Get as much cleaned as I could. And today I was like, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not doing it. And so my body is like, well, if you're just gonna sit there, might as well sleep some. Look at all the hair. Doogie, this is your hair. Me and my skills, my mad skills when it comes to floss. So mad, so crazy mad. Okay. Go. I gotta move it over. Well, gosh, doodly darn. Let's do that. This is gonna be fun. A new section. Come, scooch it over. Scooch. Move over, make room. All right. Da -da -da -da. I don't have it set up so that I can stitch. I'll have. To, I'd have to move this up to stitch that top row of white that's also there. Binky, what are you doing? Are you licking the floor? Binky, why are you licking the floor? 
She's not even paying attention to me. That dog has the longest tongue in the history of dog tongues for like her size. I swear her tongue is longer than like her head. Binky, what are you doing? She's like, oh, nothing, nothing. You're not a daddy, I don't have to listen to you. All right, actually that's not true. I'm the enforcer. I'm also chief cuddler when it, there's a storm. When there's a storm, she wants me. When she wants to eat, she wants me. When she gets scared, she wants me. But every every other time, she's like right in my husband's lap. I think it's flipping adorable. All right, ooh, we get to try this. So see how I still have my um, marks from before. And I, I probably did it with a Dritz pen. Don't know for sure, but I probably did. But I can see where my stuff is. So, oh yeah, that's not, that's not terrible. Here, let's do some in this purple too. We'll see how long it lasts. Oops, I don't know for sure. Let's do this up here. Ooh, geez. There. It just, uh, hmm. Let's go back to the blue. It, it just felt different. Oof, that's close. I think it's, I think it's there. I'm struggling with my uh, picking places today. One, two, three, four. Okay. Well, ain't the best thing in the world, but it's also not the worst. All right. Pull out your 3865. 3865. Whoop. Pulled it right out of the thingy thing. Hope I'm not being too technical for you. The thingy thing. Here we go. Uh, let's see here. Now. So we were stitching here. So if we were to continue in this spot, we have this right here at the very bottom, which makes it easy to see. Here. The pen still, I mean, it works on 18 count because the squares are larger. But I still don't think that's going to work on a 25 count for me. It's just going to be too difficult to, like, always be accurate with where I'm stitching. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I probably will try it, but we'll see. I mean, I suppose I could always, like, instead of drawing the whole line, I could just, like, dot it. Could do that. That would probably be a better way of... Um, what's the word? Conserving? Conserving. 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 See how many total? I have 54,088 54, stitches total that I've stitched on this. Pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed.
Do 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 do. Do 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 do. And I am like, whoo, fighting off a nabbage. I had to do that. Even though I was all excited and bopping around yesterday, I still, I almost had to take a nap because I was so tired. Yet again, man, I'm telling you guys, I am like the worst at keeping my stuff straight. Ah. There we go. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. So, that's actually stitch two of this square. Um, we had to go over by one, um, which is yet another reason to not do the pages. Oh man, I kind of want to do the pages, but I see where it would cause a problem. All right, so anyway, so I've done one over. All right, let's just deal with this for now. Done one over, and I need to, well, Let's see I gotta figure out exactly well I know where this vertical line should be but I'm just double I always double check I never go oh I finished that so let's just do that nope I always count again because I might miss it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and that is exactly what it should be just one short all right let's try that dot dot method so it's supposed to be here so there, 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 there. That's not bad. That looks better than the alternative there. That's not bad at all. That might work. We'll see. We shall see. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Ba -bum, ba -bum. supposed to be white. I missed it from the one before. Oopsie. I think I might take a little quick cat nap, like set my alarm for like 20 minutes and just... Hey, hello. I, uh, I accidentally uh, did something to the uh, camera. I got a few more stitches in when you guys weren't looking. I had to get up and get Bailey, and then I had to go get the door, get the package. So it was kind of for fortuitous. It was like it was almost like the, the universe was like, "Here you will stop recording because a few things that need to happen." So it's all good. All right, I'm almost done with the video time time wise anyway, but I'm gonna get a little bit more worked on y'all just a wee tad more and then probably go back to cowboy 
actually the thing that just came was some of my matting materials for some of the projects that I have um, that are done that just need to be uh, framed. Um, I wasn't planning on... So I've been looking for frames, like not super, I've been framing myself. So, or framing my projects myself, I should say. So I've been looking at some different options and I found some really nice inexpensive mats, or mat mats, uh, frames at like Goodwill, Salvation Army. That's a great place to find some nice frames that really cost hardly anything. But um, the last three or four projects that I finished are not conventional sizes, they're different. Because of that, I, uh, I went ahead and I ordered from this place online. I want to say it's called Matte Board and More. And uh, relatively inexpensively compared to like the cost of taking it someplace, I got a um, custom cut mat uh, and then the frame should be, you know, perfect for what I need. Um, and, and it comes with a foam board too, so it should be pretty straightforward as to how it, uh, how it should be done. So that's on the to-do list now. So maybe not today, but soon, soon. Oops, let's just do this first. So I did create a new um, playlist for this series. Uh, I took the other 11 Stitch With Me's that I had done before last week and have put them in their own playlist. And I actually need to go in and change the numbers of uh, all those. Because I originally, when I did Stitch With Me's, I just numbered them you know, in a row, like I do my floss tubes. And I had... Uh, you know, it was like number 11 and number like 24 and 52. And so it doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to go back and actually just change it all up. Change it all up. Change it all up. There we go. Right there. Perfection. And actually getting up there and walking around and doing a few things actually woke me up, which is great. We're and a half, and I can't believe it myself, almost 100 stitches done on this, I think, maybe more, in this hour, which is nuts to me sometimes, just thinking about how slow I can go on this. My neck, my neck says, why, why? And I say, because I must. I must stitch. I must. It's who I am. All right. Okay, got that one done. And then, bah, get in there. And then there's four stitch, four, and then it curves. If I can get all that in this. The light might be different from the first part of the video because the the broken light that I'm kind of using right now has uh, kind of fell to the side a little bit when I went to get up, which was expected, 
wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, I didn't finish that. I should have gone all the way down and finished that. Ay, ay, ay. Here, let me do, okay, so I'm, I'm correct there. So we're gonna do a little craziness. We're gonna go down here and finish that row or column or whatever you wanna call it. And then I'm gonna curve this over here. Come here, there we go. But I came up with an idea of how I can actually like save my little light and use it better. I'm gonna just zip tie it to my, uh, my stands that I use to show my cross stitch. I'll keep it upright and I can just move the stand over closer, which is pretty easy to do whenever I need the light. Think. All right, well, let's just see how many stitches that is. See, I did all of that, and then I did all that. I did that little one down there, I did that one there, and I did those, and all this, and the total will be 110. That's awesome. That's awesome. So that, I mean, and there's a lot of the same color to, to do here. Um, and I certainly could do it or I could, you know, stop it and pick it up at another point and just, I, I need to get back in here and just work on these. Um, get all this done. That's really going to be the focus. That, and then this next week, that and um, honestly just, and that probably will take me, that could, this could take me a month to get all these little stitches in here and there. Um, but to also have the, uh, um, all the floss picked, uh, so that I have everything. So if you can, so you can see with this, I still have, uh, you could see until I changed it. So four and like a half pages. Uh, light. There we go. So yeah. I mean, that's one reason to keep the, the the page thing as is, but that that could easily change as time goes by. So, well, all right. Well, we'll see how well the purple versus the blue stays. Um, Till the next time you guys see a stitch with me, I'm going to work on this and the floss. And um, I'll see you guys with this video on Saturday. And if you want to join us on Monday, we're going to start up a very colorful sea turtle. Hold on, let me show you. Oops, well, I can show you better here. See the sea turtle? Oh, bye-bye, sea turtle. I have, like, orientation disease where I just, oh, I can't make that bigger. Anyway, there's the turtle. Yay. All right. Very colorful. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. If you would like to see uh, behind the scenes, kind of what I do uh, when I'm not uh, doing videos, uh, as far as just the stitching part, the design, the the um all the who is doing it making that sound it was zuzu um uh consider joining my patron my link down below uh and i would really appreciate the support not that's totally cool just watching the videos is awesome i really appreciate you guys so much for the many many years that we have been hanging out together like this and doing doing stuff um but yeah have a great rest of your weekend and i will see you soon bye